Here's how to fix verification code not received on your iPhone. Now, the first step is let's head into the settings here. And the very first thing I would recommend doing is a lot of times just toggling on airplane mode and then toggling it back off fixes the issue. This disconnects from your Wi-Fi, disconnects from your cell plan and reinitiates everything. Now, if that doesn't fix it, the next thing that we'll do is we're going to scroll down here and tap on where it says focus. So tap on focus and you can see next to YouTube, it says on indicating that I have a focus mode turned on like do not disturb or something like that. Now, if you do have it turned on, just swipe down from the top right and just tap on the focus mode to disable it. Essentially, if you have a do not disturb or a focus mode turned on, that might prevent you from getting any notifications that you got that text message in the first place with the code. After we've done that, let's just swipe out of here and go to the bottom and hit on apps. Now from here, let's get to the messages section. So swipe down until we get to messages and tap on that. The very first thing we will do is tap on send and receive. So make sure this is the phone number that you have associated with whatever service that you're getting that verification code from. So you can see this is my phone number. Make sure that matches up with the phone number that's on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or anything like that. Make sure it's the exact same number. After you've done that, let's just go back here. And there are a couple other things as well. Let's swipe all the way down to the bottom and you can see send as text message. Now, if this is turned off, it could cause issues with you getting text message verification codes. Keep in mind, those are always the green bubble, not the blue bubble. So you need to turn on text messages on your phone. Now let's also scroll down here and you can see filter unknown senders. If this is turned on, essentially, if you get a text message that you don't recognize, which most cases is just from a random string of numbers, then it will put them in a different section of your phone. You just might not be able to see them. So I would recommend turning this off. And now on here, you can go through all of these different things in addition to blocked contacts. You want to make sure that you haven't blocked that specific contact. You'd be surprised how many times somebody just inadvertently has blocked that specific contact. And essentially, they can't receive that text message because they blocked it. Now, if you might be wondering what text message or what phone number, basically Instagram or whatever texts you from, you can always just open up a web browser and you can type in what number does Instagram text from? And you can see here, it usually is 32665. And it says on here, apparently I blocked it as well. So this is a common thing. Just search your block list for the number that that app usually texts from. In Instagram's case, it's 32665. Now, if that doesn't fix it, let's just go back out of here all the way back to the beginning. We'll scroll up, we'll tap on general and then scroll to the bottom and just hit the shutdown button. You'd be surprised how many times just a proper turn off and reboot of your iPhone fixes a lot of issues. So just turn it off. It might have been days or weeks or months with your iPhone running. So just turn everything off and turn it back on. If you've done all that and it still isn't working, let's hit transfer or reset iPhone and hit reset and then reset network settings and just type in the passcode for your phone. And it says this will delete all the network settings and bring them back to the factory default. Again, a lot of times this fixes any kind of bugs or glitches on your phone. And a lot of times it allows those text messages to come into your phone so that you can get the verification code. If you've done all this and you still don't see that code, most likely in whatever other service you're trying to get the code from, maybe they have the wrong phone number in there. You mistakenly entered in the wrong phone number, or maybe that specific app or carrier is down and you just need to wait an hour or two until it gets up and running. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.